All week on 13 W Amazing Morning, we're focusing on stories of recovery. People who fought their way back from the brink of addiction or mental health crisis and are willing to now share their stories of hope. Today, one Macon man says he spent most of his life dependent on alcohol and drugs and finally decided to seek help in the darkness of addiction. Ensley Nichols shares his battle to sobriety. 17 years clean and sober. Anthony Jenkins says he took his first sip of alcohol at eight years old. He says by 17, he fully owned the title of alcoholic. After that first drink, you know, I, I made up my mind, I've got to have that. I consider that one of the worst mistakes I ever made in my life. Jenkins says he comes from a family of heavy drinkers. He grew up without a father and says his mother revolved from one abusive relationship to the next. I kind of stayed up a lot of nights, you know, trying to protect my mama from those guys. Once I put alcohol in my system, I became just like those guys. Alcohol took control of his life, prompting anger and violence towards others. Jenkins managed to graduate high school, then served three years in the military. As he grew bigger and stronger, his addiction gained strength too. Alcohol, drugs, uh, marijuana. After the military, for the next 21 years, Jenkins spent time in and out of jail. Then one day after another clash with the law, Jenkins reached out for help. That's my uh, sobriety day, August 21st, 2001. He showed up on the doorstep of River Edge Recovery Center in Macon. This place saved my life. Three years into sobriety, Jenkins decided it was time to help others battle addiction. He began a career at the recovery center. I see the newcomer just walking in the door, sitting in the seat, while same place that I sat, with that look in his eye, that look of fear, the pain, the guilt, the shame, the remorse. It's my job to reach out, give him a pat on the back, tell him it's going to be all right. Telling his stories to help others gain what he almost lost. I could not kick myself in the butt for what happened back then when I was a young teenager that didn't know what to do, but here I am now. You know, you can learn from that. Taking mistakes from his past and turning them into lessons for others. In Macon, Enza Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. And Jenkins works primarily in the Child and Adolescent Services Department as a counselor. And coming up tomorrow.